Been waiting for your call. They caused a hell of a mess in Moscow. Was it worth it? Adler managed to get the list of sleeper agent names, despite himself. He's got balls, I'll give him that. Bell did well. Seemingly. But I think that team is getting too comfortable. They're acting like they know who they're dealing with. Perhaps. Turns out, one of those sleeper agents is tied to Operation Greenlight. Theodore Hastings. He's a nuclear engineer based out of Salt Lake City. And you believe Hastings is the one he'll activate? Exactly. Total surveillance is already underway. This is it. The recent movements of Theodore Hastings has led us here. Cuba. Right in our backyard. A vacant government facility in the Cuban countryside has become a hub of activity for Perseus, and the likely location of the stolen nuke. No doubt Castro allowed it. Twenty bucks to anyone who can bring him down before me. Who? Castro or Perseus? Whoever. We are not gonna let him move this nuke inside the states. It's time to take down Perseus, once and for all. Team, wrap up any unfinished business. Once we strike, there's no turning back. Woods, don't get any bright ideas over there. Yeah, you've got my sure as shit guarantee. Hastings left Salt Lake City. We tracked his movements all the way to Cuba. We have to assume Perseus moved the nuke there. Langley believes Castro could help Perseus smuggle it into the U.S. in exchange for a peek at the hardware, of course. That isn't gonna happen. What's the plan? The last read we have on Hastings came from 30 miles south of Havana. We suspect Perseus is using an abandoned compound there to hold the nuke. They're working under the radar, so expect moderate security. I say we smash and grab. Parachute in, grab the nuke, skyhook out. And what if the nuke isn't there? It's there. The only reason Perseus needs Hastings in Cuba is to prepare it for arming and detonation. There you have it. Hudson will arrange our exfil while we're en route. If everyone's ready, let's move out. Adler's late. No, love. We're early. Adler should be checking in right about... Park, we're in position. Copy that. We're moving to flank. All teams, we do this fast and loud. Find Hastings, grab the nuke, get the hell out. Woods, light up this joint. About fucking time. Go, go, go! Do the honors, Bill. I need cover! 
Do the honors, Bell. Hang on, it's like fucking clockwork. All teams span out. Advance to the main gate. Incoming grenade! circuit cameras. We could use them to locate the nuclear bomb. Sharp as ever.
Bell, sweep for mines. Mason, you missed one behind the counter. Thanks, Park. Keep looking. There. Hold it. Adler, we have eyes on the nuclear device. Daddy! Someone's killing the scientists! Where? Second floor, room 27B. Second floor, center room. Upstairs, let's Go. move! Meet you there, Park. Crude, but effective. Can't keep your eyes off me, huh, Park? Bell, use the C4. Adler, we're moving to the second floor. We're pinned down. Move ahead. We'll catch up. Reload! Where are 
27B. Adler, we're heading inside. Lazar, man the door. Got it, Mark. Bell canvas the room. Hastings, start talking. <laughs> Perseus was here. <coughs> he shot us. He escaped. Perseus would never leave his precious nuke behind. He forced us to reverse engineer the detonation codes. They'd give him full access to green light. What? Are you telling me Perseus can detonate multiple nukes in Europe? I'm so sorry. Hastings, stay with us. How many green light devices can Perseus detonate with those codes? He can detonate all of them. He'll wipe out half of Europe. Blame it all on the USA. We need to find that son of a bitch, Perseus. Time to go. No contact. Chopper coming in low. It's gotta be Perseus. All teams head to the roof. Move, move. Adler, we got a shit ton of reinforcements circling this compound. Let's go. Oh. One minute. Stay focused, Lizzo. I'll tell you what. When we get out of this, I'm by. Now that's something worth fighting. Red team, this is Skyhook. Your zone is hot as hell. Blend in the fist. That will be much appreciated, Skyhook. Roger that. Help us on the way. Roger that. Roger that. Clearing the roof now. That's a hit. Bullseye. Now! We'll do it in turns. Bell, you harness up first. We'll cover. Go! Take cover! Shit! Bell? Ah! Ground team, My legs. contact in T minus 10. Nine. The harness. Eight. Seven. Six, your ass, Bill. five.
Well, that was a goddamn fiasco. You go in with the intel you have, not the intel you want. We paid the fucking piper down there. You think this is Bell's fault? I don't know whose fault it is. I just know that Perseus doesn't have a single fucking nuke. He's got dozens. Millions of people are gonna die, and the United States will take the blame. You need to find out where he's planning to broadcast the activation signal. Are we gonna pull that out of our ass? Bell knows where it is. Bell? This goddamn science project was a failure! Don't count Adler out yet. The man has a deep bag of tricks. Come on, a little further. Sims, get the gurney. a lot more than Lazar if we don't execute this next move correctly. We need you to hang in there for one more assignment. I'm counting on you again, Bell. Sims, get the dosages ready. All of them. Adler, stop wasting our valuable time. He's of no use to us anymore. Stay alert, Bell. You're the key to stopping persons. You always have been. No more half-assing it. We're doing an intracerebral injection. Injecting directly into the brain could provoke seizures, or worse. Damn. Through the eye socket. You sure about this, Doc? The memory should begin almost immediately. Bell, listen to me. I need you to remember. Think back to our time in Vietnam one more time. We need to finish what we started. We had a job to do. Think, Bell. Perseus. Do you remember coming face to face with Perseus in Vietnam? EKG is spiking. Shit. Heart rate's off the charts. I need you to relax and focus, Bell. Your helicopter crashed. You made your way through the jungle, alone. You found a bunker. Do you remember the bunker, Bell? We need to know what's inside that bunker. Do not trust Adler. Adler is lying to you. Do not trust him. Do not listen to Adler. He is lying to you. He is lying to you. Do not trust Adler. During a mission to investigate reports of a Soviet bunker, your chopper was hit by ground fire. According to your debrief, you woke up in the middle of a firefight. The crash survivors were defending against a VC attack. You ran forward and picked up an M16.
It was then you realized you were the sole survivor. You set off to locate the bunker. path split near a ruin, so he took the right fork, not the trail to the left. Down! Get down! They see! He's moving close. Use our knives. Stay low. Use the grass for cover. They will see us coming. Thanks for the assist. Good luck on your mission. You heard Russian voices from a cave across the river, so you went to investigate. Bell, I need you to turn around and go into the cave. You equipped your shotgun and had a bow with you. That's when you discovered VC soldiers meeting with Soviet agents. Yes, Bell. That was the door into the Soviet bunker. Yes, good, the bunker. Now tell me about Perseus. to do. According to your debrief, 
You woke up and the rest of your crew was missing. The VC were on the ground searching for survivors. You readied your bow to take them out silently. Path split near a ruin, so you took the well-traveled trail on your left, not toward the waterfall on the right. Mentioned crossing a bridge near the village. The bunker was somewhere on the other side. At the fork, you followed the road right toward the sound of gunfire. Seeing a firefight, you readied your M16.
Yes, this was the bunker entrance you described in the report. This could be the onset of another focal seizure. Don't stop, Bell. Fuck! Fuck! Hand me the fallback scenario manual. Here it is. Bell, we've got a job to do. According to your debrief, you woke up in the middle of a firefight. The crash survivors were defending against a BC attack. You readied a grenade launcher and charged ahead. path split near a ruin, so you took the well-traveled trail on your left, not toward the waterfall on the right. went 
left at the fork, not right. You allies were pinned down on a ridge. You readied your sniper rifle to assist. Open it. Park, give Bell another injection. That could be lethal. Bell's Do it now. Heart rate is spiking. I'm not sure how much longer Bell can last. Good. Everything's stabilizing. Heart rate is coming down now. Forget about the damn lab. I need to know about the bunker. Comrades, the United States and its allies slowly consume that which...
Bell survive another round. Now you're asking me. Do it. We're not leaving empty-handed. Script 17. Ready. Bell, we've got a job to do. We've been over this already. Skip ahead to the next part. The bunker door was right there at the ruins, Bell. You went in. Yeah. Bell, go into the bunker now. States and its allies slowly consume that which is dear to us. Our leaders continue to weaken under this threat. It is the moral duty of Perseus to act when they will not. Soon we will possess an American nuclear bomb. The key to unlocking their entire green light arsenal. Once we control the green light arsenal, we will detonate them all from the safety of Solovetsky. You gotta admit I'm surprised. I didn't think they'd recover so fast. We tried everything. Normal forms of interrogation won't work. Breaking a subject's will and erasing their mind is a difficult and painful process. That's a small price to pay. The CIA's mind control program has had a great deal of success with implanted memories. You want me to tell them about my time in Vietnam? Lastly, you'll need a command phrase to trigger the implanted memories. We have a job to do. We have a job to do. We have a job to do. You had to reach the Soviet bunker. It appears the subject of programming is beginning to take hold. We've got a job to do. We've known each other for years. Fought together, bled together, been through the hell of Vietnam together. We've got a job to do. And now the training's complete. We just need to give the subject a name. Bell. Coming too. Bell, no more fucking around. What did Perseus say? Where is he? You're disoriented, Bell. We'll explain everything later. Right now, we need to help each other. Bullshit is what your whole life will amount to if you don't come clean. Tell us where Perseus is. We gave you a second chance when you were shit out of luck. Now, we just want some assistance in return. Bell, you were one of Perseus's agents. His associate, Arash Kardavar, turned on you at the airstrip in Turkey. Left you for dead. When the plane leaves trap zone, he's stopping in Dubo. This you know. Here's what you don't know. Perseus won't be there. None of these hired guns are going to leave Duba alive. We'll dump their bodies in the forest. Then we will move the weapons to Volkov in Berlin. From there, we fly to Solovetsky. But I have other plans for you. 
precious things to hide you. I don't want the competition. No. We were there. We found you after everything went down. The CIA reinvented you, Bell. We needed to give you a new identity to replace the old. Sims and I both wanted you to be CIA. You didn't resist it as much as we thought you might. And we were able to utilize your language and cryptography skills as an added bonus. The bigger challenge was your memory. The CIA's MK Ultra program used Atlas missions in Vietnam as a template. We needed you to have that shared experience, that lifelong bond, to establish trust. Are your hands clean, Bell? No. Count yourself lucky. You've only had those memories for a few months. Me? I've been living with them for over a decade. Interrogation didn't work with you, but thanks to MK Ultra's research, we had a backup plan. If you believed you were someone else, we could lead you to a place where you'd give everything up. Enough to get us where we are today, but we're not finished yet. We have a job to do. Bell, we've got a job to do. Come on, we've got a job to do. We've got a job to do. The trigger phrase kept you in line, but it didn't get us everything we needed. Your innermost secrets were always locked behind a door. Bell, I realize you probably hate us right now, what we've done to you. I just need you to fully understand the stakes here. What you do right now is not about me, it's not about you, it's about millions of other fucking people. It's about stopping someone who in the end has no true allegiance to anyone other than himself. So tell me, where is Perseus? Once we control the green powers, we will detonate them all from the safety. This is your chance to define who you really are, though. Where is Perseus? The safety of Solovetsky. 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 Sims, get Washington on the line. Everyone else, gear up. We're leaving now. You made the right choice, Bill. Come on. You're still one of us. Perseus. The CIA's analysts consider him to be the single largest threat to the free world. You've been given an important task. Protecting our very way of life from a great evil. The United States and its allies slowly consume that which is dear to us. We are hours away from Perseus detonating nuclear bombs in every major European city. We'll do whatever it takes. Some of us have crossed the line. To make sure the line's still there in the morning. No one's gonna brand us heroes or villains. They don't know us. As for me, I've been chasing this ghost for 13 years. That ends now.
fuckers are gonna pay for Aisa Lazar. Look at your chance. Solovetsky's two clicks out. All units, EMP in transit. Starfish inbound, 400 knots. That baby hits, we'll have 12 minutes max before the radio towers come back online. Our job is to knock out the AA guns and give our war work a clean shot. Let's take Perseus off the air. when I tell you, Hudson. Come <laughs> on. 
out of time. I gotta tell Hudson to launch. That's a big gamble if that gun ain't cleared. What do you Hudson, start your bombing run. Copy that. Get your team out of there, Rambler. Those bombers won't have a chance if we don't clear that last AA gun. You better hurry and smoke up. This could be a bombing strike given. They did it, Mr. President. They stopped the nukes. Thank God. And the CIA. Did they get Perseus? No, sir. His whereabouts are unknown. And a Russian response? Nothing yet. We're seeing signs of confusion. It's possible this was all a rogue operation. Perseus may not have been following orders from Moscow. Well, I'll be damned. Maybe we have something in common after all. situation down there. Come in. Woods, have you found them yet? Over here! Give me a hand! Take my hand, Bell. We did it. This is a message to Perseus, and those that'll follow him. We don't just sit back and hope for the best. We'll make the best happen. This is how wars are won, Bell. Do you have an update on Kasim Javadi? Yeah. After capturing Kasim Javadi, we've convinced him he's better off working for us, rather than against us. The death of Arash Kadavar opens a path for Kasim to take control of their network. He'll give us deeper insight into Soviet activity in the Middle East, and with our resources behind him, he should be able to influence regional affairs for years to come. What about Anton Volkov? Volkov has become a prime source of information since his capture. After interrogating him, MI6 quickly established a series of listening posts in East Berlin. We've already intercepted messages from the KGB to assets throughout the city. We're poking holes in the Iron Curtain. How did the cleanup in Havana go? We were able to recover Agent Azalea's body from the compound in Cuba. President Reagan personally reached out to his family and his caskets in transit to Tel Aviv. As you know, Helen Park returned to London. She'll continue to recover from her injuries there. Afterwards, MI6 plans to give her a task force dedicated to finding Perseus. What about the rest of the team? They got off Solovetsky before the Soviets could send in forces to investigate. We'll take some time to heal up, then it's back to work. We may have stopped Perseus, but his rats are still nesting all around us. Thanks to the help of one of our own. True. We failed to hunt down Robert Aldrich and his domestic network of spies. We may have to go to more extreme measures, like broad domestic surveillance, which of course we're not authorized to do. Not yet. 
What about Europe? You may have saved it from getting blown to Kingdom Come, but it's still stacked with Perseus's agents. There's more we could have done there if we'd had the time. And Bell. Arctic air. There's the head, doesn't it? Bell, you made two extraordinary sacrifices to stop Perseus. One was without your knowledge. The other, you made that decision of your own accord. I just want you to know that this little thing that's happened with you and me, it was always for the greater good. You're a goddamn hero, you know that, kid. Heroes have to make sacrifices. That's why when I ask you for one more, I hope you understand. It was never personal. 